Bahubali 2, the conclusion is an Indian epic fantasy action film directed by S.S. Rajamouli and written by his father K.V. Vijayendra Prasad. It was produced by Shobhuyar Ligada and Prasad Devineni under the banner Archimedia Works. Released on April 28, 2017, the film stars Prabhas, Rana Dagubati, Anushka Shetty and Tamuna while Ramya Krishnan, Sathiraj and Nasser appear in prominent roles. Second cinematic part in the Bahubali franchise, it is the follow-up to Kama serving as both a sequel and a prequel. The film is set in medieval India and follows the sibling rivalry between Amarendra Bahubali and Balaladeva. The latter conspires against the former and has him killed by Katapa. Years later, Amarendra's son returns to avenge his death. The conclusion was made simultaneously in Telugu and Tamil and later dubbed into Hindi, Malayalam, Japanese, Russian, and Chinese. Made on an estimated budget of, the production was launched on December 17, 2015 at Remoji Film City, Hyderabad. The cinematography was done by K.K. Santil Kumar, and was edited by Kodagari Venkateshwara Rao. Production design was done by Sabu Cyril, while the action sequences were choreographed by Peter Hine. The visual effects were designed by R.C. Kamala Cannon, with assistance from Ada Ladili and Pete Draper. The soundtrack and background music was composed by M.M. Garavani. Released in conventional 2D and IMAX formats, the conclusion was the first Telugu film to also release in 4K high-definition format. Grossing worldwide, the conclusion surpassed Park, 2014 to briefly become the highest-grossing Indian film of all time, collecting approximately worldwide within just six days of its release. It became the first-ever Indian film to gross over 10 billion, doing so in just 10 days. Within India, it set many films' records, becoming the highest-grossing film in Hindi, as well as in its original Telugu and Tamil languages. It stands as the highest-grossing film in India, the second-highest-grossing Indian film worldwide and the 39th-highest-grossing film of 2017. The film sold an estimated 105 million tickets during its box office run, the highest recorded footfall for any film in India. The conclusion released to positive reviews from critics. It was also praised by the actors of the film industry alike. The film has garnered the Telstra People's Choice Award at the 2017 Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. It won three National Film Awards, Best Popular Film Providing Wholesome Entertainment, Best Special Effects, and Best Stunt Choreographer. The conclusion was premiered at the British Film Institute, and was the inaugural feature film at the 39th Moscow International Film Festival. It is showcased in the Indian Panorama section of the 48th International Film Festival of India. Plot Katapa continues to narrate how he ended up killing Amarendra Bahubali. After vanquishing the Kalakiyas, Amarendra Bahubali is declared as the future king of Mahishmati and Balala Devit's commander-in-chief. The Rajamatha Sivagami orders Amarendra to tour the kingdom and its neighborhood, along with Katapa. During the tour, Amarendra witnesses an attack by Devasena, the princess of Ptala, a kingdom neighboring Mahishmati. Falling in love with her, he approaches her after the fight, posing as a simpleton, and is accepted into the royal palace for a job. Balaladeva receives a message of Amarendra's act and upon viewing Devasena's portrait, lusts for her. He asks Sivagami for Devasena's hand in marriage. The Rajamata who was unaware of Amarendra's feelings for Devasena, assures Balaladeva and sends an emissary to Ktala, who delivers the marriage proposal in a patronizing way. An insulted Devasena rejects the proposal with a scathing reply. Enraged hearing her response, Sivagami sends an order to Amarendra that Devasena be brought to Mahishmati as a captive. Meanwhile, Ktala is attacked by Pindaris, a decoy-like army. Amarendra, with the help of Katapa Devasena's maternal cousin, Kumara Varma, is able to nullify the attack and save Kintala. Upon being questioned, Amarendra reveals his true identity. He receives a bird post from Mahishmati, ordering him to take Devasena as captive. He promises Devasena that he will protect her honor and convinces her to come with him to Mahishmati as his future bride. Upon reaching Mahishmati, the misunderstanding is brought to light and when an ultimatum is delivered to Amarendra that he must either choose the throne or Devasena, he chooses the latter. Balala Deva is crowned king and Amarendra is made the new commander-in-chief. During Devasena's baby shower, Balala Deva rids Amarendra of his duties as a gift. Devasena speaks out against Sivagami's inaction and taunts Balala Deva. Due to further clashes, Amarendra and Devasena are banished from the royal palace, living happily among the people. Bijjala Deva convinces Kumara Varma that Balala Deva is after Amarendra's life and he must kill the king to safeguard his brother-in-law. Kumara Varma enters the palace in the stealth of the night, only to be discovered by Balaladeva and be killed, 
but not before revealing their plot to convince Sivagami to kill Amarindra. Sivagami, convinced that Balaladeva's life is under threat but that open hostility would result in civil war, orders Katapa to assassinate Amarindra. Katapa, bound by his word to serve the queen, lures Amarindra by feigning he is in trouble, and then stabs him in the back and kills him. After Amarindra's death, Katapa soon learns of Balaladeva's treachery and informs Sivagami, who reveals to the panic towards outside her palace that Amarindra is dead and that the baby Mahendra Bahubali would ascend the throne. As Balaladeva and his men are about to seize the queen, she flees with the new king but falls into a river after being hit by an arrow shot by Balaladeva. As Balaladeva holds Devasena prisoner for the next 25 years and destroys Kantala, Mahendra grows up and leads the rebel group that has indulged in guerrilla warfare against King Balaladeva. After listening to the whole story, Mahendra Bahubali, alias Sivyadu, decides to avenge his father's death by erasing his own army with the help of Katapa and returns to Mahishmati along with Avantika and the people of the city. After an ensuing battle, Balaladeva is defeated by Mahendra and burned alive on a pyre prepared by Devasena. Ending the cruel regime of Balaladeva, Mahendra becomes the new king with Avantika as his queen, bringing peace and harmony to Mahishmati. Cast Mumbai Film Festival in 2017 The following is the credited cast. Production. Bahubali, the conclusion was produced by Tollywood, the center of Telugu language films in India based out of Hyderabad, however it was filmed in both Telugu and Tamil languages simultaneously. The film series is touted to be the most expensive in India till date. The screenwriter, K. V. Vijayendra Prasad who wrote stories for most of Rajamuli's films once again penned the story for Bahubali. The series was produced by Shobuyar Ligada and Prasad Devi Neni. R.C. Kamalakanan was chosen as visual effects supervisor and Kodagari Venkateshwara Rao was the editor. Prime Minister Satish was the sound designer and stunt sequences were coordinated by King Solomon, Lee Whitaker, and Kecha. The film's costume designers are Ramaraja Muli and Prasant Tripurnani. The line producer was M.M. Srivali. The film shooting started on December 17, 2015 at Ramoji Film City in Hyderabad with Prabhas and Ramya Krishnan. The film featuring Telugu actors Prabhas and Rana Dagubadi in the lead roles became the biggest ever movie in India in terms of scale of production and making as of 2017. The film is also known by the abbreviation BB2. Sabu Cyril was the production designer and Peter Hine was the choreographer. R. C. Kamalakanan was the VFX supervisor and was assisted by P. Draper and Ada Ladili, co-founder of Makuta VFX. Casting Anushka Shetty was cast as lead heroine marking her fourth collaboration with Prabhas. Prabhas was cast as main lead of the film. Anushka Shetty was cast as the heroine of the film as she was also a part of Mirchi, 2013. She coincidentally became the first heroine Rajamuli repeated in his films and thus made her schedules full for 2013 and 2014. Rana Dagubadi was recruited as the antagonist of the film and coincidentally he was also a part of Rudrama Devi. Sathiraj signed the film. In April 2013, Edvi Sesh was cast for a crucial role in the film as Raja Muli was impressed by his work in the Panja, 2011. Actress Ramya Krishnan was chosen to play the crucial role in the film as Raja Matha in August 2013. Actor Nasser was selected to play a supporting role. Karandeep was selected to play the brother of the film's chief villain. On December 20, 2013 a press release stated that Tamana will be second heroine of the film which marks her first collaboration with Raja Muli and second collaboration with Prabhas. Mekka Ramakrishna was picked for the head of the Kantala Gorillas. Characters and Looks Rana Dagubadi was said to be playing the role of Prabhas brother and he too underwent a lot of physical transformation satisfying the role he was assigned to play in the film. He also underwent training in martial arts under the supervision of a Vietnamese trainer, Tone. Sathyaraj has a tonsured look for his role in the film. Sudeep said that he would play the role of the weapons trader Aslam Khan in this film. In the end of October 2013, Rana appeared at a fashion show with a beefed-up body which, according to him, was a part of his look in the film. In mid-May 2014, reports emerged that Anushka would play a pregnant woman for a few sequences in the second part of the film. At the same time, Prabhas posted on his Facebook page that he underwent a minor shoulder surgery and would join the film's sets in a span of a month. On June 1, 2014, Prabhas and Rana's trainer Lakshman Reddy said that Prabhas started his training eight months before the commencement of shooting and after two years, both of them weighed nearly 100 kilos each. He also added that Prabhas has two attires with a heavy, bulky body for Bahubali's role and a lean physique for the second role. For his look, 
Prabhas met WWE superstars like The Undertaker in February 2014 and interacted with them about their daily